Today I got some good sun, and I tested my boat with three solar panels, and uh, I broke, well I cracked part of my drive shaft on one of these, the fiberglass tent peg part, I like cracked it where the drill was attached. So I decided to just take those whole parts out and shorten the entire thing. So that's what I had before. And now I have this. I think it'll still be long enough to keep my drills, you know, far enough away from the water to be safe, but I'll have to be a little more careful with them. But now the drill is attached right on the steel shaft. <laughs> shaft. And also I took the, you know, the extra handly thing from the drill and I'm fiberglassing that right onto my housing so I can just slip the drill in there and tighten it and it'll stay. And then if I need to switch a drill out because I break one or something, or if I need to get in there or whatever, I can just loosen the thing, pull the drill out. I think it's good now. And I'm definitely going to need some new drills. I've been kind of beating these ones up a lot. Like the day when I had propellers that were kind of hard to turn, the drill started smelling funny. And one I dropped into the salt water a little bit. It didn't go right under, but it definitely got some salt in there. And that one sounds a little more like <laughs> when it starts than the other one. <laughs> oh, on a super positive note, before I broke anything with three solar panels and some decent sun, man, I was flying. That's pretty sweet. I hope that four solar panels isn't too much. I mean, theoretically, it should be the right voltage for the drills. But it sounded like they were going real fast on three solar panels. But I might have just gotten used to them being so un underpowered. So, I'll just test it on these ones since I've already kicked the poop out of them. And if they burn out, that's okay. Good to me. I think that's done. At least done enough to put it on the boat. Alright, how do I get this huge thing down here to the boat? Ah, the whole thing only weighs like 10 pounds. That was a piece of cake. New motor mounts. Ooh, look at that blue sky. So lots of sun today. I got my solar panels slid into their grooves. They slid in there nice and smooth. It's just like Okay, not really. It was more like Alright, there's one. There's two. But maybe sliding them in and out a few times will smooth out the grooves a bit. Whatever. Let's test my new motor mounts and everything. And I'm Taking the camera on the boat for the first time. I think I'll tie it to the ceiling so I don't lose it in the water. All right, the camera secured to the ceiling. I got my motors here, some stuff. Got some solar panels up there. That's a good thing. I did a lot of these solar, there's motor mount parts by eyeballing, but man, they're perfect. 
and the little handle of the drill thing rests right up against this post so it won't ah oh, sweet all right that one was like perfect this one needs a little wood nugget to give it at the right angle good enough though Got the on-off switch screwed in. The plug's up there. Duh, and my plug won't reach to here. All right, I think if I change the wiring, leapfrog from this panel over to that one, back to this one, then to there. All right. Duh, piece of cake now. It's a good thing I didn't panic and start cutting wires. Alright, this switch burns out instantly. Hmm. I'll have to get some heavier duty switches. Alright, I'm totally bypassing my switch. And... Cool. See how fast this thing can go. I need to go get my scraper and get all the barnacles and seaweed and junk off the bottom of the hull, which I haven't done in like I don't know a couple weeks. So it's like it's like a shag carpet under there, a green stinky shag carpet. Okay, barnacles removed. Whoa! I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but that's significantly faster. where I'm going. <laughs> All right. Clear waters. No one out there. Oh, that's what I love about boats. You can just drive for miles and run into nothing. It's almost like I'm actually going somewhere. Attention, Jamie, steer the boat. 